morning. Christ is in our midst. I, I love this uh, feast day, and I, I love Catherine's story simply because it fulfills what has been true in humanity since we can remember. We're storytellers. We tell stories. And the story of the beautiful maiden being pursued by the wicked ruler who only wants her as a trophy, and he only wants her because she's the fairest in the land, and she's the most beautiful, and he should have the best, and it's all about him. Over and over again, we see these stories over and over again, and, and St. Catherine's story is the real thing. About the beginning of the fourth century, Catherine uh, was this beautiful uh, woman uh, born to a, um, a high-born man, and she was wealthy, and she was brilliant, and she had a lot of sense, and she could uh, argue the philosophers under the table. She knew her stuff. She was a student, and she was prudent, and she was virtuous. And she didn't have any time for these pagan suitors that are wanting to her to make her a trophy wife. She wanted to be dedicated to Jesus Christ her whole life. And so Catherine, when the ruler of the area said, you know, you're going to be my bride, she said, no, actually, no, that's not the case. I'm not going to be your bride. I belong to Christ. And you're a pagan. So he had all of his philosophers debate her. And when none of them could hold a candle to her wisdom, the wicked king had her killed. But that's what the brokenness of a world that is self-centered and narcissistic always produces. It always produces death and destruction. It never produces life. It never produces progress. It always produces more slavery, more darkness, more power dynamics. But the faithful understand that even if they take our lives, they cannot take our freedom. Because our freedom is resting in Jesus Christ and Him alone. And so the only way to defeat our freedom is to defeat Christ. And Jesus has already beat everybody. So the dedication, um, and this, this woman wasn't a, she wasn't an, uh, an old lady. She was, uh, at the most, she was in her early 20s, probably in her late teens. And yet this woman was so clear about who she was and who her Lord was that it gave her life such meaning and power and purpose. And it gave her such strength of character in the moment that she was in that she, had never, she never allowed the sickness of the world to infect her with the darkness of self-centeredness. And she placed at the highest good, Jesus Christ. And that was way, the way she oriented her life to the highest good, to keep her eyes constantly set higher and not on things below. It's the reason why we read the this gospel story of the woman with the issue of blood at the feast of St. Catherine. Because the woman with the issue of blood is a perfect example of those of us who struggle all our lives to try to fix ourselves. When really all we need to do is get in contact with Jesus Christ. He's the one who heals us and heals our brokenness and our internal bleeding so that we're not dying, but living. And Jesus said, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed. That's what Jesus says to us today. Your faith will make you well. Go in peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you so much for watching. I pray this was a blessing to you. If it is a blessing to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. It really does help us a great deal. Speaking of helping us, if you'd like to support this media outreach, go to our Patreon site at Faith Encouraged on Patreon.com. You can also visit us at our website at faithencouraged.org and write me at frbarnabas at faithencouraged.org. I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you.